Look at that. Similar to like chess and focusing on the chess pieces, each piece has its own theme and its own use. We're gonna have access to newer combos and newer abilities that will increase the combat depth of each weapon. Added for Kratos is his new pre-fall attacks. So you could jump off a ledge, slam down on it. and that you can also take advantage of that verticality, I think it just adds such another interesting layer to a fight. Everything you design has to be surrounding the... You put the power behind a move. You are in control of fire and earth and water and wind. Whether you are throwing your axe or on the receiving end of an enemy spell, the effects is... With the design team and the tech art team on this... The technical implementation of creating a creature but it's really navigating. We wanna make something that makes players lean forward and focus and really try hard against that enemy and feel good about overcoming that, but we don't want to make them feel defeated if they can't figure something out. Gauging. Community cry out for more mini bosses, bigger creatures, and enemy variety. And this time we really leaned into that. So in God of War Ragnarok, you're gonna be traveling to all nine realms and each realm is gonna have like its own for example, in Alfheim, we're familiar with the Dark Elves, but this time around, we're gonna be fighting Light Elves, such as the Light Elf Warrior. We don't have to think about the camera and how close combat is gonna feel. We already have that knowledge, so we can build upon the close camera that we have. You will see Atreus moving more independently on his own as a companion. I think what the players really love is the powerfulness of it. When you are playing as Kratos of War and moving into Ragnarok, we want to really make something bigger, make it stronger, make it more of a spectacle. You want them to be like, oh my gosh, I didn't- We enjoyed from previous God of Wars is the combat grapple, and we're going to be bringing that with a new twist. I'm very so moves. That brings so much more speed into the movement and the dynamic feel to it. Movie and choice to shield loadout and really go for a shield that gears towards parrying. If you're a big blocker, then you could choose a shield that will really match your play style. Building up the stun meter this time around is gonna to lead to different ways to basically decapitate the enemy. It's that it's super engaging. And as Kratos, now that you have- but Alongside you, sometimes even surprise you with his combo abilities too. Actions that you'll see Atreus do leverage the fact that he's older now, he's bigger now. Magic has a different flavor. <laughs> Not side by side together. Um, there are also a lot of mini games and, you know, for example, like the puzzle systems and the set pieces, you definitely will see a lot. Odin must have sent them! You basically iterate and iterate and iterate, and it takes testing and just seeing what works to really figure out the personality of something. Basically, every department gets spectacular. <laughs> On this project, For the old father! our react is the player. Q, or we'll add the different rings, such as what we did in the last game, that lets you know that this attack is unblockable, you need to dodge it there to experience the diversity of enemies that this game has to offer. You will be fighting everything from small little creatures up the entire screen. The gamut. I think each one looks so much different from the next one, and each of them have their own play styles and their own little fantasies that go into it. And mythology, you'll be very interested to see how Sony Santa Monica has taken some of these creatures and interpreted them for God of War. There's emotion behind it and intent behind it and by the time it gets to you, everything has been sweated over, bled over, tested. Oh.